देर आर सर्टन नॉन कार्डियक ड्रग्स दैट वी यूज डेली इन द वार्ड्स और इन द आईसीयूज एंड इफ वी गिव दो ड्रग्स फास्ट देर कैन बी हाइपोटेंशन कार्डियक अरेस्ट एंड इवन डेथ so what are those drugs so in today's video i am going to tell you seven such non cardiac drugs that should never be given fast iv so friends today's video is very important you see this video till the end and if you have come for the first time on this channel then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical videos so friends let's start the video so the first drug in the list is phenytoin it is an anti epileptic and it is used during status epilepticus if this drug is given iv fast it can lead to hypotension bradycardia and sometimes cardiac arrest and this is due to the presence of a solvent called propylene glycol and this propylene glycol can lead to vasodilatation and myocardial depression phenytoin can be given maximally at the rate of 50 mg per minute you should not exceed this rate and you should always dilute this drug in normal saline and give it with through the infusion pump if you want a faster option then you can give phosphenytoin because phosphenytoin is safer and it can be given at the rate of 150 mg per minute now the second drug in our list is vancomycin Vancomycin is a glycopeptide antibiotic, and if you give this antibiotic rapidly IV, then it will lead to something called as Red Man syndrome. So, what is Red Man syndrome? In Red Man syndrome, there is itching, flushing, hypotension, and erythema or redness of the upper part of the body, and this is due to the release of histamine. So, to prevent or to avoid Red Man syndrome, you should give this drug as at this rate. 1 gram of this drug it should be given over or more than 60 minutes and if there is a red man syndrome you should stop the drug give antihistaminic and then start the drug very slowly now the third drug in the list is potassium chloride if you give this drug rapidly iv then there will be dangerous hyperkalemia and this will lead to ventricular fibrillation or asystole you should never give potassium chloride undiluted and then what is the rate of infusion if you are giving it by peripheral line the rate is less than 10 milliequivalents per hour and if you are giving the drug by central line then it is less than 20 milliequivalents per hour and you should always give this drug under ecg monitoring now the fourth drug in the list is manitol which is a osmotic diuretic Manitol is a hypertonic solution and hence when it is given rapidly IV it can dangerously increase the blood volume and due to this there can be pulmonary edema and heart failure this drug is given at this rate 0.25 to 1 g per kg of 20% manitol over 15 to 30 minutes now the fifth drug in our list is magnesium sulfate This drug is commonly used during preeclampsia and eclampsia. So if this drug is given rapidly IV there will be flushing hypotension and respiratory depression. This is due to vasodilatation and neuromuscular blockage. So at what rate should this drug be given? So 1 g of this drug should be given over for more than 3 to 5 minutes with monitoring and what you will have to monitor you will have to monitor the knee jerks respiratory rate and urine output so now the sixth drug in our list is amphotericin b which is a anti fungal drug if this drug is given rapidly iv there will be fever rigors arrhythmia and hypotension so this drug should be infused over 4 to 6 hours with pre medication like antipyretic drugs and antihistaminic drugs and if you are using this drug then you have to daily check for the renal function and the electrolytes now last but not the least are the drugs that we commonly used in the wards during the treatment of iron deficiency anemia and they are the iv iron drugs so if these drugs are given rapidly iv they can lead to hypotension and anaphylactoid reactions so what is the rate so if you are using iron sucrose then you should give 100 mg of this drug over 10 to 15 minutes and if you are using fcm then you should give 1 g of this dose over more than 15 minutes 
and you have to always give a slow test dose before giving the actual dose. So friends, in this way, these are the seven non-cardiac drugs that should never be given IV very fast. So next time, whenever there is an opportunity for you to give these drugs IV, always remember the maximum rate recommended for that particular drug. So friends, if you like today's video, give it a like, share with your friends. And if you have come for the first time on this channel, then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical videos. See you in the next video. Till then, 